Hi, I'm Hank Carlson. I'm a special effects makeup artist. I'm born and raised in Wisconsin and worked out in Hollywood on some major motion pictures that some of you may or may not have seen. And I also uh, am a toy collector and prop collector. And what I'm here today is to show you uh, some of the things that I've made and then how they look on screen. It's because it varies from thing to thing. So first off, what I'll show you is uh, from Army of Darkness is a Deadite head. And if you've seen the movie, Deadites are very prominent in the film. They're the main focal point of the monsters. <laughs> This one, it was used, this is made out of a uh, rigid foam. Uh, these were also made uh, to be puppets uh, that I would, many of us would puppeteer um, at KME Effects Group in the trench. Uh, we'd have trenches and we'd wear these big harnesses that we'd actually operate the, the monsters so they looked like they were in line with actual humans, even though that they were a lot taller, so that's why we had to be down in trenches. Uh, this particular head that I have um, was taken from the molds and it was made out of a rigid material. And what these were used for is in the scene where Bruce Campbell is makes his car into, they call it the death coaster. He makes these big prop, like a helicopter blade in the front and drives it through to chop up all these, uh, the living dead. So what these were made out of was this rigid foam and they were hollow and then we would drill out areas and I would fill that with sand or some sort of uh, uh, fuller's earth, which is like a real fine dust. And we would slice these at different points and these would be positioned and static so they wouldn't be moving. So then when Bruce Campbell drove the car through all the deadites, it would chop them into pieces. So the chunks would go flying through the air and it dust so they'd look like they were actually like, you know, rotted, rotted corpses that had been in the ground. So this is actually screen used. Um, this is one of the things that I saved from the movie. Um, so it's a good little piece, but like I said, it's solid, made out of foam. Second thing I'll get to, this is, there's a scene in the movie that, um, towards the beginning, where uh, Bruce Campbell's thrown into, or his character's Ash is thrown into a pit where these monsters are attacking him and the medieval uh, knights are cheering because they want the monsters basically to kill him. And he gets his chainsaw thrown down and gets it on his arm. He starts chopping up the, the creatures, which are called the pit bitches. Um, so... <laughs> There's a scene where the pit bitch is coming at him and he goes Wah! with the chainsaw and the, there's a knight that's standing up above or one of the one of the uh, the simple folk and the, of the village and he's going ha 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 and this hits him in the face. And so this is actually the pit bitch's hand, screen used. So what happens is this is shot in reverse for the film. So what happens instead of this flying up and hitting him in the face, this starts like this. And then it goes. So it starts where he's like this, like it got him in the face. 
and then they pull it away and then he's like laughing. So it's when it's shot or when you're watching it, it's then flipped. So it looks like it's coming up and slapping him in the face and grabbing his face. Yeah. So this is made out of just a, a foam rubber that is more squishy. It's not like this. Like I said, this was made out of, this had to be chopped up by big blades and had to maintain its position while the things were hitting it. If that were to hit this, that would just bend it or, you know, it wouldn't break. Get the hell out of here! So that's one. And then this is one of the hero uh, stunt masks that I made and sculpted. And it is uh, seen better days, but normally props for movies don't last. If they're made out of that rigid material that I had showed before, that's going to last a long time. But anything out of foam, eventually just out of moisture in the air, sunlight, uh, cold, things like that are going to affect this and how it's stored. And it's just going to eventually turn into sawdust. And so crumble. another thing from Army of Darkness, it, it was uh, used. I, I'm not sure if it was screen used or not. I know it was used for publicity stills. But that was uh, this. It's one of the Deadite shields. And it, they would use with their swords when they're fighting. So uh, Bob Kurtzman uh, from k and and myself made this. And it's pretty funny because on screen, it looks really good. It looks like it's a real shield. Movie magic, kids. It's not really like that. Um, what this is, I'm going to give it away is we went outside and we procured from uh, uh, one of the units next to us where we were renting the space, you know, that the, our uh, lab was at, our shop. Uh, this is uh, just a lid from a garbage can. And we melted it and cut it apart. And then we decorated it up and there's different materials that are used on this. There's a rigid material again. There's some plastics. The, there's some silicone. So, what this was for was, this was used in um, Jason Lives. So, there's a scene in the beginning of the movie where Jason turns around and the camera zooms in like this and it goes into his eyeball, into his iris, and Jason comes out and slashes the, the film. He comes out and that's supposed to be like James Bond's opening. So that's what they used to then go. So they couldn't go into the actual hockey mask. They had to make an oversized one because it, they just you couldn't focus to get into that eye hole exactly what they wanted. So this is made out of fiberglass, like I said, and this is what they use then for the movie. When you look at something like this, Army of Darkness, like props like this, they don't just get made overnight. I know there's uh, TV shows on TV like Face Off and all these things. And they, as an effects artist, I sit there and scream at the TV because they're not accurate. Um, to make something like this, it, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of hours to put this together. That's why movie props cost so much because there's a lot of time money and materials that are involved in making these.